Hey guys, so it is a monthly favourites time once again. It's the end of September. Every month I say it, but I don't know how, I don't know how it's happened this year. It's just, it's melting away. Um, but I wanted to talk to you today about some of my favourite things this month. Um, I actually have five things, which is pretty small, but all of them I am utterly obsessed and in love with. So without further ado, I'm going to start by talking about makeup. And I've got two... I've actually got three, but I wanted to include all three of them then. I was like, that's actually ridiculous on the Charlotte Tilbury front. Um, because it would be like over half the video would be, or half the video would be Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but an honourable mention goes to the Charlotte Tilbury loose powder, the new one. Um, the magic powder or whatever it's called, because that is amazing. But my two other favourites are both from the same collection. Both, I think, limited edition, although I'm not entirely sure. The first one is the Pillow Talk eyeshadow quad. I've been using this pretty much every day this month, although I haven't actually used it today, which is annoying because I can't actually show you what it looks like on my eyes, but it's just so beautiful. It is, it really is like the perfect everyday eyeshadow quad. If you like kind of warm pinky tones, it's got two really beautiful shimmers and then two gorgeous like blending mattes. When I first got this, I actually thought there wasn't a dark enough shade because I really like to use like a darker shade um, to line my eyes. However, this shade is actually quite deceptive and it does work um, kind of under your lashes or on your lashes like, as a lining shade. It does. Sometimes I use a darker one as well or a liner, but that doesn't really bother me. I actually really love this shade and I thought, like I said, when I first got it, I was like, I wish that was darker, but actually it's really nice and I would 100% recommend it. And then the thing that they released it's kind of part of the same Pillow Talk collection alongside it, um, was the blusher, and I've used this pretty much every day as well. It's just gorgeous, and it, it's one of those things, it doesn't look like wow, or like, oh, amazing, when you actually look at it, because it is quite a neutral toned blush. It's like a rosy, kind of pinky tone with a nice highlighting shade in the middle, if I show you the highlighter. It, it's just gorgeous, and you can use the highlighter on its own as well if you get a smaller brush and really kind of just get in the middle, and you can use that as a highlighter independently of the blush, and I just really love it. Like, I, it's gorgeous, really nice. And then my next favourite is the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Um, there was quite a lot of controversy when this launched about them not having enough darker shades, but also having really weird dark shades. Um, and I just feel like that is, it's such a shame because this actual foundation is so good. I feel like I'm way late on the bandwagon of talking about that, so I don't want to talk too much about that. But basically, there was controversy about the shade range. They need to do more shades. But the formulation is really, really incredible. I didn't know what to expect because obviously Beauty Blender make beauty sponges. Um, it's their first kind of foray into actual makeup and it is awesome like it's really really full coverage i'm wearing it today it literally makes you look like you've been airbrushed um it's called liquid whip long wear foundation the wear time is amazing the wear time is amazing and it just really it looks super perfect on your skin but at the same time very very natural as well like it's a very natural finish it's not too matte it's not too dewy it's just gorgeous the packaging is super innovative um i actually really liked it and the first time i used it i didn't even realize that you you squeeze it out and this is basically like a blending plate so you squeeze the product down onto this bit and then you can use your beauty blender to pick up the product really cool idea i actually don't know how much i like it though because you then have to clean this every day as opposed to i always put makeup all over my hands when i'm doing makeup and then go and wash my hands and i find that's probably easier than having to clean this off and then wash the other makeup off my hands if you know what i mean um but yeah, very, very cool idea, and whoever came up with it is very smart. It's got a lock as well, so that you don't get it on your makeup bag if you're traveling, which I find really, really useful. My shade is 2.5, which I think is a really good match for me. I really like it, and like I said, I was very, very, very impressed by this. Um, it's also a pretty good price considering how high-end the packaging is, and how expensive beauty blenders are for what they are, because I've always thought this. I love beauty blenders, absolutely love them, but they're like 80, are they 18 pounds each? It's crazy. But yeah, this is very, very good and I would highly recommend it. The nail varnish side of things this month, um, I have been loving this polish, but also m three specific polishes from one collection of nail polishes that have come out this month. This is the Sally Hansen Colour Therapy, I think it's called like New Nudes or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of the, the collection, but it's the new collection. 
Um, I think there are six in total, but these three are just amazing. If you guys have asked me in the past um, if I've been wearing like a nudie nail polish, this kind of colour, it's most probably this one, which is Pink Pong from Sally Hansen. This was, I believe, limited edition, like, two years ago or so. Um, this is Pink Pong. This is the new one, which is Pink and Harmony. As you can see... They are very similar. This one is a little bit more kind of mauve-y. I actually think I even prefer the newer one. But finally, they've done a really, really gorgeous nude um, that is very similar to this because I get so many questions. Every time I wear this, I get questions about it. So there's that. And then there's also the one I'm wearing at the moment, which is called Bronze Reflection, which is so gorgeous. It's probably a little bit smudged because I just repainted it and did not wait for my nails to dry. Such a gorgeous autumnal colour and I really love that it's a really kind of sophisticated way to wear like a metallic glittery polish. Like it looks kind of whoa out there in the bottle. It's like a duochrome, like an autumn greeny kind of red russet tone duochrome. But actually when it's on the nails it's really subtle and really pretty. I really like it. And then the other one that I love is like the darker red version of that. As you guys can see this is like a metallic deep red and when it's on, again, the kind of metallic element to it is kind of dumbed down a little bit and it just looks gorgeous. It's like a perfect, perfect autumnal shade. Love all three of those um, and I've been wearing those for the last couple of weeks. This one I actually haven't worn yet. I've been alternating between these two, saving this one for the colder weather. Um, matches my dress actually really, really well. Um, but yeah, those are stunning and they are they're either out or coming out they sent me the full collection and i just instantly fell in love with these three gorgeous and then i've also been using um a new shampoo and conditioner which for me is big news because i basically never ever swap my shampoo and conditioner um this is the shu umura ultimate reset shampoo and conditioner i was really nervous when i tried these i've got a really sensitive scalp and i basically have stuck to purology or um keels for the past three years or so um but this collection is amazing, especially if you colour treat your hair or you've got long kind of damaged hair, if you heat style it a lot. I have been using this exclusively, it must be over a month, and you can see how much in the bottles. I've used probably two thirds, no, I've used one third even, there's two thirds left. A little goes a really long way, and what I've also noticed with these is that they're amazing at keeping your hair clean. I don't know how, like obviously like your hair, like, you get your hair dirty in between washes but i can go like four days without washing my hair easily with this stuff i wash my hair twice a week and it's just it's never felt like smoother and sleeker and softer and i just really really like them in terms of ingredients i don't think they're, they're particularly good in terms of like sulfate free all that kind of stuff i think they're pretty chemically and schumer in general is like not a natural brand or even trying to be um but they just really work for me and i just love what they're doing for my hair so these are awesome. They are expensive. I think they're about 20 something pounds a bottle from Feel Unique. However, they last a really long time. So for me, like, I'm, I'm okay with spending that amount if it will last me. If I'm going through like a bottle a month and it's 22 quid, I'm like, hell no. But if they last me, like these bottles will probably last me two and a half, three months, I would have thought. Um, so, so good. And then last but not least, this has been a favourite before, but I've been, I basically used the whole bottle this month, so I wanted to talk about it. It's the Caudalie Tay de Vin Shower Gel. Oh my god, this smells so good. So I went back to the Caudalie Spa this month and completely fell in love with this fragrance again, which I discovered a long time ago, probably like four or five years ago, and completely fell in love with it. And they recently, well, in the last 18 months, I think, started doing it as a shower gel, or I, maybe they did it before and I just didn't know about it, but I've used it before, love the shower gel, it's about seven pounds. So it's like the luxury end of affordable, it's not like super expensive. Um, like some of the cordly skincare is really expensive. So it's like the more accessible end of the brand and it smells incredible. And it's actually one of those shower gels that stays, the scent stays on your skin after you've had a shower. So many shower gels I use, you have a shower, you get out, you wash it off your body, well, you wash it off your body, then you get out, and then the scent is completely gone. Like, it smells nice when you're using it, but this is actually really, like, it lingers on the skin in such a nice way. So if you love the scent and you want to layer the scent, this is a great way to do that and make the scent last. It just smells lovely. This is also, um, no parabens, no phenyl, no plathates, mineral oil, sodium, lauryl sulfate, um, all of that, all of the like nasty chemically stuff, this doesn't have it in it and it's 
not that expensive whereas a lot of the more natural brands are really expensive so that is it i feel like i've been talking at 500 miles an hour but that is it for my monthly favorites september is over autumn i am ready for you i'm excited dare i say it the c word not that c word but christmas christmas is coming I'm so excited. Um, I actually am going to start filming my content, my Christmas content in October. Like, I know it seems crazy, but that Christmas advent calendar is starting to come out now. So my advent calendar video, if you guys want to see it, um, I always get questions about it, is coming in October. And then my gift guides are coming in November. So I have to, like, start planning my Christmas stuff in October. This is why I get so excited so early. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have had an amazing month, an amazing day, and I will see you very soon.